These are the most expensive boots that I've ever bought in my entire life. They were over $2,000. And that's because it was a collab between two brands at the top of their field, Viberg, who makes some of the most perfect boots in the entire world, and Horween, who arguably makes the best leather in the world, Shell Cordovan by Horween. And this leather is different from any other leather in the world. It's literally 10 times the price of basically all the rest of the leathers. And it takes nine months to tan, and you only get a few square feet per full hide of horse hide. So when you combine one of the best boot makers in the world with the best leather in the world, hand select by Nick Horween himself, and there's only 20 pairs available, you end up with one of the most unique, rare boots in the entire world. But the problem is I had a couple issues with them. One is that I have skinny little ankles known as lads. So this style of boot just doesn't work for me. It's just a little bit floppy and loose on my feet. The second issue is I'm just not a big fan of engineer boots. I, I think they look really cool on other people and I wish I could be comfortable in them, but it just makes me feel like I'm cosplaying as a heritage pirate. Let me be clear, both these issues are 100% my fault. They're, I'm not talking trash on Horween or Viberg, but through these issues, we really stumbled upon a, a unique way to make a boot that I don't think you've ever seen before. And I think it's really cool and it's a, it's a way to combine a roper style boot that's still easy to put on while keeping the shaft as tight and small as an engineer boot. And it looks so cool. I'm trying not to, to reveal them right off the bat. We'll wait till the end of the video. So let's start getting into this and start making my perfect engineer roper hybrid boots. If you want to see a full wear and review of how these actually performed on foot, I'm going to be doing a review on Rose Anvil 2 in the next couple of weeks. So be sure to subscribe to that. So let's get to it.